mess, I'm a mess, I'm a mess, I'm a motherfucking mess, I'm a mess, I'm a mess, I'm a motherfucking mess, I'm a mess, I'm a mess, I'm a mess. What's up, Shady Crew? Back at it again with another reaction video, man, and we're continuing with the Nick Cannon diss tracks, man. Since he put himself out there, man. Um, a lot of those that are fans of Eminem have stepped up to the plate since Nick brought a whole squad. It looks like uh, the YouTube rappers and uh, uh, some other various rappers have been standing up to the plate or stepping up to the plate uh, to go at Nick Cannon. Um, so today we're reacting to uh, Dwayne TV's uh, Wild and Out Nick Cannon diss. Um, so we're just gonna keep down the line. Um, now I know that um, D Nice um, dropped one too, so I'm gonna try to get to uh, that diss track as well. But I wanted to uh, definitely uh, take a look at these diss tracks. The last one was Grizzy Hendrix, before that was Mises, and uh, now we have Dwayne TV. Um, so I'm expecting this to be riddled with bars, man. I mean, Dwayne TV does that, man. Um, Definitely a dope lyricist that is kind of undersold and uh, people really sleep on, but definitely um, a dope guy just in general, but bar heavy, um, knows his way around the battle rap, so I'm expecting greatness out of this track from you. <laughs> but yeah, man, um, we're going to jump into this track. If you're new to the channel, man, just enjoy the ride, man. We are about to hop into it, uh, so without further ado... Let's hop in. I'm sorry, Nicholas. This shit we need to run by. Like, why the fuck you rapping? You was off me since the drum line. You've made a business. <laughs> Yo, thank you so much, Dway TV, for saying the same shit. Why are you rapping, Nick Cannon? Because you can't rap, bro. Jeez, man. Oh, but he said, why, why are you rapping, Nick Cannon? You've been off beat since Drumline. Yeah, cuts deep, doesn't it? <laughs> but um, yeah, man, we like six seconds in, and that's a punch already. That is better than anything that Nick Cannon had to say against him. I'm just saying, it is what it is, bro. Let's hop back in. The Drumline. You've made a business off of other people's skills And you try and take the credit like it's something that you built But I don't get pissed, just know I see through the mist To all these other rappers out there, you don't even exist You just a lame fraud stuck in the past, bitch with a chain Y'all notice that you dying and hoping that Emma will save y'all I ain't- Oh my gosh, yo Somebody fan DTV, bruh He is snapping in this track He said, bruh, to the, to the regular rappers, you are a nobody and you're out here searching for clout, reaching for clout, trying to use Eminem to stay relevant. Oh my gosh, you hate to see it. <laughs> bruh, we already know that these are facts, bruh. Everything that Dway TV is saying right now are nothing but facts. They can, like, there's no way around it. The whole reason that you went after Eminem is because of YouTube and how uh, social media moves. You were looking for... Uh, to, to make money off of this, period. That's the whole mantra. You knew Eminem wasn't going to respond to you because you had nothing to say. Um, but I'm enjoying this so far, man. Dwayne TV is smacking his ass right now, bro. Let's jump back in. Dying and hoping that Emma will save y'all. I ain't seen nothing blatant as this. You faking to live. You best at entertaining the kids, which makes me wonder. Cause every show you've taken is clicked. And I wouldn't say you like R. Kelly, but maybe you is. I'm just trying. Ooh, I wouldn't say you like it, R. Kelly, but maybe you is. Oh shit. <laughs> Let us find out. Let us find out that Nick Cannon out here on some wildin' out shit. Um, this is what I was saying, bro, in, in the previous reactions, man. If people dig deep, they can find stuff on you. So while you're out there trying to say that Eminem is a white supremacist and KKK and blah, 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 people can dig up ish on you and put narratives out there. It doesn't necessarily make, make it true, but if people start to believe it, then it is what it is. Maybe they should read a book about it. Huh, Nick? Dumbass, bruh. Let's jump back in. 
R. Kelly, but maybe you is. I'm just trying to get the facts right. Maybe that's your last life. I just want to figure out which role you trying to act like. Is you the gangster or the student? The rapper or the eunuch? You wear so many hats it gets confusing. Damn. Look, I can tell you like the fighting stuff, but understand this right is tough. I swear to God that it's just like Tyson's was. If I catch you on the jaw, it's gonna light you up. It's like you sitting at the bar trying to fight a buzz. I don't respect you with none of that shit you writing up. Plus, I bet you was one of those kids that Michael touched. You that weirdo out here. <laughs> Yo, all right, RIP to Nicholas yet again. Um, he said, I bet you were one of, one of those kids that Michael touched. Oh my gosh, bruh. <sighs> bruh, Dwayne TV is going at your neck right now, Nick. And all of the bars that uh, he's dropping, he's giving you a lesson in battle rap. This is how it's supposed to go. It's bar heavy. Um, there, there are metaphors, there are lines that set up other things. You don't just riddle out some dumb shit because then you sound stupid as fuck. You start saying stuff like, he's out there taking care of kids that are not his bar. Like, so basically fuck every stepfather ever in existence, right? You know, like, you... <laughs> You don't even think before you write, and then even after you write, you don't even proofread the shit that you write because then you still say it on wax and record it and dub it and send it out to the masses for us to look at you and say, you ain't have an editor? Like, that was dumb as fuck. But, hey, Dwayne TV is eating your lunch, my G. It is what it is. Let's hop back in. Those kids that Michael touched. You that weirdo out here always trying to slang shots. Yelling at the sky. I swear that we the same, Pac. <laughs> that shit is so left. That's something that a hoe says. The only thing you got in common with Pac is you both dead. Oh. You ain't a rapper and your passion isn't musical. You need that Nick at Night magic that you used to do. You tried acting and you lacking at the movie shoots. But hey, maybe they can cast you at your funeral. Damn. You like a riff rap. You tried to wipe a mismatch. Half the industry done broke her off. She the Kit Kat. White pe Half the industry done... Broke her off, she the Kit Kat. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo. Yo. I was not expecting this from Dwayne TV. I'm like, <laughs> yo, he is bodying Nick Cannon right now. Do y'all hear these bars, bruh? Like, he told you straight up, bruh. Like, these are legitimate bars, man, and they can't be refuted, bro. Like, he is dropping your ass off real smooth, like. Uh, let's hop back into it, man. Damn. We done broke her off. She the Kit Kat. White people party music. That's your album, Nick. I mean, we gotta bring it up. We talking fails and shit. Your whole career's kind of been an L. The love you ain't never felt. You kind of like that joke that we ain't never tell. You just a loser in the industry with movies that we've never seen. Plus, your whole influence ruins everything. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? This what it came to? Another lame groove, a million songs in the same tune? Ghostwriters, fake dudes, and real rap got changed to some whack shit. So on that tip, motherfucker, I hate you. Boom! Right? Yo, let's... <laughs> Let's get into this, man. Dwayne TV, um, wildin' out Nick Cannon this man. He broke Nick Cannon apart, bruh. And he said everything that I've been saying, bruh. Like, we know Nick Cannon as the fun guy. You know him as kid shows and doing that shit. Um, you out here trying to pretend that you're a goon. You getting with uh, Mariah Carey, like, bruh, like, Everybody in the industry knows about Mariah Carey. You just weren't smart enough to know. You found out later, but like, bruh, he ripped your ass a new one in this track, right? You gotta give it up to Dwayne TV, man, for dropping this dope ass uh, diss track to Nick Cannon, bruh. Like, like I said, man, the last three, including this is including this one. Um, have given me hope in diss tracks again because they have been bar heavy, they've been dope, they've been nice, uh, the metaphors have been set up and laid out perfectly. Um, after listening to Nick Cannon's whack ass raps, man, it just feels great to get back to legitimate bars and uh, wordplay and just hear some shit that's dope. And Dwayne TV definitely gave you the biz nice. I'm just saying, he gave it to you in this, man. There's nothing else that you can say about this track, bro. It was definitely fire. He definitely wowed out on your ass. Like, he, he, pause. 
he definitely went in, bro. He definitely went in. Um, and it was it was bar heavy. Like he broke it down uh, to a science. Um, everything that you have been doing, everything that I've stated in previous vids, it is what it is. We're not oblivious to the fact that, like, you, you are only known for wilding out at this point because you lost your other gig, right? So, of course, you're going to seize the opportunity to try to make yourself relevant again and try to get money because that's what you do. Just don't try to lie to us and say that's not what you're doing because we know what you're doing, bro. And it's just going to expose you when you lie and say that's not what you're doing when we know damn well that's what you're doing. But this was definitely dope for me, man. I enjoyed the bars on this track, man. Salute to Dwayne TV for coming through and just smacking dude up and sending him back to his corner. You feel me? Like, I feel him from the first bar within six seconds all the way to the last bar. Um, I don't know who gave Nick Cannon a mic, but take that shit, bury that shit, burn that shit, destroy it, so that he never gets an opportunity to step behind the mic again because he is trash on, on uh, the ones and twos, bruh. But that's my thoughts on it, man. I definitely enjoyed this this uh, this track. Definitely thought it was dope, well thought out, well constructed, and um, I mean, it was Dwayne doing what Dwayne does, bro. He knows his way around these battle raps, man, and he he gave you some heat, and it was on the light side because he didn't really get grimy and get in there and really throw some heaters. He just gave you some surface level heat to let you know that you should not be behind the mic. Pretty simple. That's all I'm gonna say, man. But this was dope for me. You guys let me know what you thought about this uh, this track. What was the hardest bar in this for you? And we'll definitely hash it up in the comments, man. But we're gonna keep this moving. Make sure you stay locked to this channel. Your video's coming up next. Make sure you smash that like, subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Until then, Shady Crew, stay shady out there.